the New Look Hornets take on the 3 and 4 Indiana Pacers. Hornets come to this one 2 and 5 on the season. They got a couple new pieces here. Bialinsa and Bogdan Bogdanovich, a trade with the Sacramento Kings brought them here. And early on here was uh, Bogdanovich assisting on the first basket here for the Hornets. That gives that makes it 3 to 5. Now here's LaMelo La Ball. Going to pass this one back out to Bielinsa. And that's a three for his first bucket as a Charlotte Hornet. Now here is a tough shot right there for Victor Oladipo on Bielinsa. Oladipo would make the first of the free throws. Comes back here. And he would miss the second one. Miles Bridges on the rebound. Here's LaMelo Ball. Going to find Bogdanovich. Corner three. That's good. And that'll give the Hornets the 9-6 lead. Now here's Victor Oladipo for three. Would miss that one. Rims out of the basket. Mark Gasol with the rebound. His first as a member of this team. And now here is Bielinsa posted up on Malcolm Brogdon. That's a mismatch. And he's able to just use his moves. Able to get right to the basket there. And keep the lead here for the Hornets. So now it's 8-11 to 11 Hornets here. Bogdanovich off of the screen right there from Gasol, able to hit the three. So right now, definitely giving them extra firepower that they needed immediately here. Just a shot in the arm that this Hornets team needed, I think, offensively. Um, just some sure shooters right there who can play a little bit of defense. And I think that's really the problem moving forward for this Hornets team was going to be trying to improve on that perimeter defense. But if their offense is this good, might be able to get away with some poor defense as LaMelo Ball slams that one down, able to drive right to the rim. Now here's Miles Turner, gets stripped. Now here's Gasol to Ball. Up to P.J. Washington, corner three here, nails that one. And Washington, that's going to be really interesting moving forward to see, is he going to you know, completely come off the bench? Or is he going to sort of switch, you know, sometimes come off the bench, sometimes start? That's a lot of... Uh, you know, definitely gives them a lot of options here. And then here's Malik Monk nailing the three. He's going to start playing a little bit more at the one without Terry Rozier here anymore. So he'll sort of slide over and get those minutes at the one position. Hitting that three was pretty nice from him. There's Jeremy Lamb able to make a two-pointer here. Trying to keep this Pacers team in this game. Here's Lamb again for three, putting that one in. And that'll make it 24-32. Well, here is Devontae Graham now going to get a screen here from Bielinsa. Going to pass it back out. Going to take the three right in front of Brogdon. Brogdon's not tall enough to really make that a worthwhile defense. Hands down, man down, as a washed up former coach would say. So here it is, 35-26. Devontae Graham now going to drive and just the nice little finger roll layup right there as they extend the lead so second quarter still Lamelo ball drives in nice easy layup right there so now here's aaron holiday gonna get picked here from Lamelo ball he's gonna look here to keep the ball gonna find bogdanovich corner three that one's good deadly shooting here from bogdanovich as they are just running this pacers team out of the gym Lamelo ball Gets freed up from the screen. Easy mid-range jumper for him. Having one heck of a game so far. Here's Aaron Holiday missing that three-pointer. Here's the mellow ball. Goes coast to coast here. Slamming that one down. Nice move to defend the ball. And there's ball which gets picked up at half court. They just didn't pick him up soon enough, in my opinion. You gotta pick him up a lot faster. He likes to push the pace here. So here's LaMelo getting around again. That should have been an and one opportunity for LaMelo Ball right there. Able to just drive right to the rim on Aaron Holiday. Having a tough time defending the young ball. So now here is Cody Zeller with the ball here. This is interesting action right here. A little handoff here. No one able to get out to Bogdanovich quick enough. You think after he made all those other threes, you know, try to close him out a little bit quicker. Here they're going to run the same action, this time opposite end of the court. Not as clean of a three, but he's still able to nail that one as that one just drains down. So here we are, 63-39. Nice pass from Ball to Gasol as just a great game so far for LaMelo. 
Lamelo here, 14 points, six rebounds, nine assists so far. Gets to the rim and one opportunity. Give him 16 on the night at this point. He would make the free throw and that will give him 17 in this one. As someone's phone is going off. And here's LaMelo Ball with the ball again. Gonna find Cody Zeller. And there it is, double-double for LaMelo Ball. Just needs a couple more rebounds if he wants to try to get that triple dub in this one. Oladipo, there's another bricked three. Cody Zeller maybe stealing some rebounds here that LaMelo would like to have. But he's gonna get the jam right there with one hand. Almost an exclamation point in this one. I mean, the Pacers, they really don't know what to do because you got to defend those guys on the corner. But at this point now, you're sort of just giving up whatever LaMelo or anyone on this Hornets team wants in the interior. That's why it was so important for this team to go out and get those shooters as the Hornets are going to pick up the W in this one as they are going to defeat the Indiana Pacers 82 to 58 here this was a one-sided affair uh, that's for sure so that was a really good game i don't have the graphics made just yet gonna take a little bit of time on that but great game from Lamelo ball 9 of 11 21 points uh 10 assists i believe that says six rebounds or eight uh my screen's a little blurry right now because i have this collapsed uh for for reasons um my setup right now is a little weird i am recording this under a blanket and it's very warm under here so either way uh you know the pacers uh they you know played with us pretty well early on but malcolm brogdon if he's gonna be the guy who takes the most shots um on your team i like the other team's chances of winning honestly uh brogdon you know he gets a lot of you know press i think as this smart crafty player but really if you watch him he's a bit of a chucker has a lot of tunnel vision in my opinion um, Sabonis, I thought they would have went to Sabonis a little bit more, but he only had eight points on six shots. Should have went to him more, in my opinion. 12 rebounds, he was tough to handle on the boards, that's for sure. Not a great three-point shooting night from them. Uh, one of five for Brogdon, one of five from Oladipo, 0 for two there from TJ Warren. Uh, Jeremy Lamb shot the best. He's the only guy who made more than one three-pointer in this game. And that's really what it came down to. We shot extremely well from three, 14 to 31. They shot 420 from three. I think that's sort of how things go in the NBA, how things go in the modern NBA now for sure. Uh, you know, you look at who hit more threes, that'll more than likely tell you who won the game. And so next episode, we're going to play the Milwaukee Bucks. We get some trade offers here uh, from a couple teams. We go on a little bit of a winning streak here. We lose to the Knicks somehow, and the Raptors, and the Nets, but we beat the Wizards. Batoon is going to be out two to four months. We beat the Bulls. We lose to the Heat. Another trade offer here. We beat the Pistons. Beat the Pistons again. So when we come back, we're going to take the Bucks, who still have Wes Matthews. I'm not going to do all the free agency stuff. I like how things are right now. I'm not going to side in Gordon Hayward, because I'm sure as hell not going to pay him $30 million moving forward. So we're sitting here at 12 and 9 right now on the season which is very nice you see here uh the east is pretty condensed right now uh, we'd like to stay above 500 for sure uh don't want to fall below that just for you know personal reasons you know i don't like seeing below 500 teams in the playoffs so a goal here for this season is definitely stay above water make the playoffs i think and uh i think begin that maturation process for LaMelo Ball, turning him into a franchise player. So come back for that. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.